went to that posh garden centre the other day. That's no surprise. You're made of money, you. <laughs> I think you're talking about somebody else, Scruff. Me, on my minister's stipend. I don't think so. All that money you saved on not going out to the M&S cafe. Hardly ever. That place where you can get those nice sandwiches. <laughs> Only twice a year at most. The other place that sells big, expensive cappuccinos. You're loaded, you are. I don't are. know what you mean, Scruff. I really don't. Anyway, I had to go to that posh garden centre to get a couple of plant pots. And they happened, just happened to notice that their cafe has reopened now. And I thought, oh, well, with all I've been through, I've earned myself a nice cup of tea. Trouble is... Go on, don't hold back. No secrets between us. Trouble is, I, I saw those really big scones in there. <coughs> you trying to sound like a pig. A dog. Trying to make a pig noise. <laughs> That's a first, I have to say. If I want to talk anywhere you are, what about those sausages that you pinched off the barbecue the other day without asking? Ruff, ruff, ruff. What does that mean? They were delicious. Bit overcooked, okay. though. Anyway, forget sausages. The scones were lovely. Massive, fruity, crumbly, and they came with jam and that lovely clotted cream. What I told you. Anyway, it's true. I only went in for a plant pot and I came out, I have to say, two pounds heavier. I struggled. I really struggled to eat it all, Scruff. Too much it was. And uh, it reminded me of a story that Jesus told. Oh, another sermon. Boring. It's so rude. It's a good story, anyway. So it's about a boy who one day he brought his lunch to the park and he ended up sharing it with well over 5,000 people. Must have been a big lunch bag. He's greedy, just like you. Oh no, just a bit of fish and a bit of bread, that was all. Pr probably just enough to make a, a pilchard sandwich or two. But Jesus somehow managed to make it much bigger and it ended up feeding thousands, that's right, yeah, thousands and thousands of people. And listen to this, those loads left over too, lots and lots of food. Like that scone. What a waste. Don't worry, I forced it down. It was a bit of an effort. I struggled, but I managed to eat the rest of that scone. But that fish and bread, Scruff, that was something else, that was. Jesus making such a big difference to something so small. I kind of think Jesus does that, you know. He finds a way of changing things, whether it's situations or, or people or, or even food, making things better, brighter, more hopeful somehow. Talking about food. Go on. It's lovely outside. How about another barbecue oh, tonight? Rough. You know, you are so incorrigible. Yes, you are. Come on, then. It's walk is time. Co-op, here we come. Come on, let's go. Ruff, ruff.